So, <clears throat> this is for my vlog, too. And, um, I took my lashes off. I can't even really have my lashes on lately. So, I can't really... Okay, so this is... This should be for my twin flame, really. This should be really for... So... I was going to make this video about my vlog, but I think I'm going to put it in my twin flame. So, last night, um, I had a really hard time with, um, myself. Like, I felt horrible yesterday. My self-esteem was terrible. I felt so, like, a loser. Um, like a failure. Um, I just felt so bad about myself yesterday and last night. It was really hard. I felt really codependent. Like I needed people telling me that I was wonderful or, you know, I needed people to hype me up. And, um, I can't do that. Like I can't have people's approval. That's unstable. It's like I'll be a puppet on a string. I'll, um that'll make me you know run in for people's approval so anyway it felt really bad to be me last night and yesterday and I didn't feel special it was hard and bad so I'm just now waking up which by the way a UPS driver banged on my door so this is my apartment this is from the view from my bed and my door is right there right there this is a basement apartment nobody told them to bang on the door when they drop off my packages I was dead ass asleep and it jolted me up because it's right there so anyway so I just woke up fine again I went back to sleep and I just woke up and I'm so grateful for my twin flame because he keeps he helps me to be a grounded person and a regular person he's been telling me to save money he's been telling me not to buy a bunch of stuff to clutter up the this little apartment and he's right. Somehow he knows me. I can't stand clutter. I mean, I don't know if he's right, but I feel like he is sort of right because it's, it's making me crazy. And then my readings are making me crazy. I, I can't do readings like that. Like, I just want a regular job. So, I don't know. I woke up wanting just a regular job. I can't do readings on demand. It's too, it's too stressful for me. It's too draining for me. Like, and everybody said that. Not everybody, but a lot of people said, um, isn't that draining? And I'd be like, no, but sort of, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Everything is draining for me. But I feel everybody's energy anyway. The way that I process stuff is hard. Like, I, it takes me so long to process negative energy. Oof. And it affects me so much. So, my TikTok, TikTok, I should probably get rid of. Because it's all... I'm the before. I'm the before. My weight is 260 pounds. I have a big stomach. Um, it's all these women doing weight loss. All these women going from looking like me to then looking like some hot seductress. And um, I don't need to look like... I mean, I want to feel special. I want to feel wanted and loved I want to feel beautiful, but if 
dieting, having surgery, going to the gym every day. Like if I have to do things for people to like me and then I have to put learn to do makeup that way and my hair that way. Like if being a seductress and being a, you know, sex kitten, I know that's ridiculous, the wet word, but yeah. Like if that's what I need to do to have people's approval and to be popular and to be loved, I don't know. That's probably not going to happen, you know? So, it just so happens that my eyelashes hurt my eyes a lot. So, I just put some on yesterday and I just took them off because... So, I might put some more on for today. And this is my fingernails. They're stubbies. But they're mine. So, you know... I don't know if I can be running around getting my nails done with acrylic tips anymore and putting lashes on all that. Like, I, I have to be loved just being me. And yeah, I do need to save money because it's just right, right. So, I don't know. I guess I'm giving up my dreams of being rich and famous. And I guess I don't really... Doing readings makes me anxious. So, I don't, I don't know if I can do that anymore. I don't know if it's the best for me. So, that's weird. I have to process this now. <sighs> About just being a regular woman that looks sort of like a guy. I feel like a guy. With no makeup on. And then with blue hair, looks like an old person. And then being fat. So anyway, whatever. I don't know. All I'm saying is I can't need a man. And I can't need friends. And I can't need approval. And my nose is itching now. I just got to be able to be me. And I have to feel safe. And I have to feel secure. I have to feel stable. So I get on my, my TikTok live and I, I feel weird now. I don't feel like myself. I mean, I don't, I feel like I'm trying to, um, it's just a weird feeling. Like I'm trying to please, I wish that I could just start Hoover. Um, I don't know. I just feel pulled. I feel like people pull me in directions and um, I'm not in charge anymore. Same with my Facebook. Like, I just feel like too many people, there's nowhere to hide anymore. Like, not that I want to hide, but I want to be my own person. And too many people are like pulling at me. So... I don't know what that means. I just thought I'd come on here and talk about it. That sort of kind of my twin flame is right. About me saving money. About me. Like I don't know. I guess I, I, I wanted to be rich and famous. I've always wanted that. And I want to travel the world. And I want to do energy work. But I just don't. I have to be the boss. I have to be in charge. I don't, I don't know. I, I need to feel stable and safe. And I need to feel good about myself in the core, not on the outside. Like, I have to feel stable and secure in the, my core. All, like, I can't fake it. That's something you can't fake. And I can't, you know, so I can't fake that and do readings or it's going to take me out. So I need, I need to, like... I need to like me and to be stable as being me, not being a reader. That's the best I know how to talk about it. So this isn't glamorous. This isn't like popular thing for me to say. But I just need to be a regular me again. So um, I'm going to find my way back to that. So this is TT Be More Twin Flame. 
I don't know as far as drive and lift because I'm, my car is getting, even though it's a 2018, I have 180,000 miles on it. That's a lot of miles. It's going to start breaking down and I'm going to need to buy a new one. And that's something I get a lot of assistance. I don't think that counts as income. So if I go to buy a new car, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. So, um, you know, yesterday I made a hundred dollars for five hours of work in heavy traffic in Annapolis. That's really not, and that the wear and tear on the car for that and the gas, you know, Lyft doesn't pay enough. <sighs> so I have no idea. But I have to stay grounded. I have to stay stable. I have to not hate on myself because of the way I look. Or the way my age or my weight. I can't do that stuff. I can't be negative towards myself anymore. It's too hard. So I'm here. It feels weird to be me. But I wanted change. I wanted healing. I wanted stability. Those are important and my energy, you know, to be stable, to be secure. So, can't be running around chasing people's attention. No. So, love you guys. Thanks for being here with me. I wish I could feel like myself again. It's okay. It's maybe it's a new self. But it's it's going to be okay. I'll have to keep finding me every day. So, um I don't know what anybody else's journey looks like, but this is me unfiltered, raw, being real. I'm going to go on my TikTok live. I'm just going to be me. I could probably do readings because I can do that, that but I got to know my limits and, and be in charge. I can't let other people pull me. So I'm grateful and I got this. <laughs> Thanks for being here with me. Love you.